Sunshot represents a very serious approach by the United States government, recognizing that we are three to five years from having solar photovoltaic adopted as a important energy source. The Sunshot initiative was announced by the Department of Energy really to focus on reducing the cost of solar technologies, the installed cost of solar to a dollar a watt. What I admire about the Department of Energy and this and the Sunshot initiative is the innovation with which, the novelty with which they're approaching the problem. The DOE funding is a tremendous opportunity to work with these new technologies, position them into manufacturing and develop the manufacturing productivity capabilities that are able to turn these into um, significant industry for the United States. In the last decade, Semitech, in partnership with CNSC, or the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering, have come together to invest in an infrastructure in this complex. Semitech has been around for about 30 years now. What they've done is brought back uh, U.S. competitiveness to the semiconductor industry after they first got established back in the late 80s and early 90s. The semiconductor industry is based on Moore's Law, a technical and economic theory uh, around uh, planned innovations. Uh, I see the same opportunities, although the solar industry is different, but I see the same opportunities for, for the SunShot program. What CNSC has done is expanded the Semitech model of collaboration and allowed us to also bring in partners that are interested in terms of uh, keeping their technology proprietary. We're literally coming together to be able to share innovation, share the cost of technology, and address the technical challenges and the commercialization challenges. This is the first time in history uh, that the nation has pulled together a public and private initiative like this to drive solar. The role of government is best played when it serves as a catalyst to pull the industry together to work in a pre-competitive mode to work on standards and infrastructures that benefits everybody. It meets our future energy needs. As we grow, it allows us to provide clean, good energy to our citizens. It helps the environment by reducing our carbon footprint. It helps the economy by generating manufacturing jobs all across the U.S. With the cost of oil increasing tremendously, with the willingness of state government and the federal government through the Department of Energy to invest significant resources with the high level of interest from companies that want to commercialize these technologies. All these events are kind of lining up to make sure that this initiative is a success.